Welcome back to Kentucky Coner. Todd's back for another hunt. About once a year, once every six months or something like that. A couple times. But he's back. I'm glad to have him here. I got Molly loaded in the back of the gator. Getting ready to turn her loose up a holler here. Hopefully there's a few coons left in here. We can get one treat. It's a nice chilly night. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Y'all, thanks for watching. Let's get some coons treat. This is Kentucky Cooner. Todd's getting Molly out here. She ain't really been getting hunted as much as she used to. I got so many young dogs I'm fooling with. Ready? Go, go get them. We just got Molly turned loose and Todd's out here playing with his brand new Bright Eyes Fusion. He is so impressed with the Night Trace technology. Sitting there blowing smoke and looking at it. <laughs> Like a like lightsaber. A, like a kid at Christmas. We'll give a little update on Molly here. I got my phone sitting up here on the gator. Molly's 272 yards. 124 yards out, right ahead of us. Just kind of struck in. We're just kind of waiting to see uh, when she gets treed up, and then we'll be heading that way, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can drive to her. She's right up through there. You might be able to hear her. Sound like she got a real track going. It's like going good down this holler too. Sounds it? good, don't it? Yeah, it does. Go ahead and show my laser one more time. I like this laser. I'm telling you, look at that thing. <laughs> All you 80s Star Wars fans, this is good. This is like a lightsaber on your helmet. Oh, they call it again? Huh? Oh, they call it again? Call what? That laser. Light saber. Night trace technology. Oh, night trace technology. That's right. I just call it the night trace light saber. Let me show you Molly's track here where she's ran. Get this light turned off. Down there's where we started, where she got turned loose and she struck at the top. Right about in there is where she struck at. She's running the track back around the hill. Right down there is where my truck's parked. We unloaded the gator there. 255 yards. 248. Molly's 186 yards. She just come around to the face of this hill. You you can probably hear her real good now. Well, Molly was running that track and she come down, get ready to cross the blacktop road. We drove the gator down here to the blacktop road. Uh, that's why I got this good looking ski mask on. But we caught Molly and I was afraid she's gonna get run over. So we're gonna take her back to the truck and go get May and turn her loose somewhere. You ready, buddy? Ready to go. Bad luck. We just got back. To the truck here. This is scary when your dog gets close to the roads, but sometimes you gotta pull them off tracks. I hate to do it, but it's better than losing your dog. But we got her put up, and we're gonna get May out and turn her loose uh, across the road from where we turn uh, Molly. Hold on, Tucker.
Walk over here, Tom. I can help you. This ain't the best place in the world to turn a dog loose. It's right on the face of a hill. But I drew quite a few coons up here on it. There's a creek runs through here too. We've had a good hard rain the last couple of days. Might get a coon struck up here. Well, Maidus gave two or three barks there. She's 267 yards. She's been hunting for a good, what, 30 minutes, you think? Probably hunting, hunting good and close, too. Yeah, she's uh, hunting that whole hillside I turned her on. and Like I said, she gave two or three barks there and got this house dog up here barking. But, uh, how far is she now, Todd? 281 right now. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Give you guys an update. Here when she gets treed. Well, May treed about 700 yards from us. We come up this hill up to the tower and she's about 200 yards down over in the holler. Right there she is. You can probably barely hear, but we're gonna drop down to her. Hopefully harvest us a cone at me, buddy. Looking forward to it, see what we can get. Right well, here to May. He's on a big dead broke off tree. tree right here beside her. Maybe it's crossed over in there, hopefully it's not a den. I'm gonna go ahead and get May and get out of this daggone place. It's all right. It's all right. Treating these sure. big holler trees. Ain't nothing you can do about it. I was hoping that the coon would have been up this big tree here. Okay. They kind of run close That's together. That's but good. didn't get that lucky. That's good. Good We're gonna head on back up to the gator. Well, I just got back up here to the gator. Todd said, uh, climbing that big bluff right there, big face of the hill, rougher in the cob. He just took me and walked on down the hill, and I'm gonna get on the gator here and go pick him up. Well, we started out the night. Uh, we finally got Molly off the road, put her up, put May out. Um, she got over onto a den tree, and uh, we finally collected her and got her back up. And now we, believe it or not, are at a golf course. Uh, don't ever, don't ever take any land out of the equation. If you think there's a coon there and somebody will let you hunt it, be respectful to the landowner. But still, yet we're gonna get out and hunt them, aren't we, Cody? Yeah, we're gonna start <laughs> right here on hole number ten. Is that hole 10? Yes, it is. As a matter of fact. It's a par four. Hopefully we treat one coon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Cody? You want to go off the red tees or the white? Let's go off the ladies' tees. All right, we're going to go off the ladies' tees. Come on, girls. Let's get you out of there. Go on them up. Put on this one. She got a lead strap. Here, walk, walk right, her yeah. down here. Come here, Molly. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come here, Molly. Come here, Molly. Started down to the left, safest. All right, we are on the 18th tee. <laughs> Come on. Turn it loose there. You ready, girl? That Molly's going the wrong way. Come here, Molly. Come on. Go, Molly. Come on. Now turn her. Turn her loose. Go. Yep. Sounds like a dog struck in on the, about hole 12. Give or take. Uh, right on the side of the green. Right on the in. side of the green. There was actually an old house over I seen when we was golfing here. Yeah. They struck right around that. 547 yards. Point over and show them which way it is, Todd. Uh, if you go by the laser, it's right over in that corner over there. It's a dog leg right, in case anybody wants to know, from the white tees. And they are just now fell treed 552. And they are hammering. We're going to go. Let's load up in the gator here and head to them. All right, let's do it. We're driving the 
cart path here. We ain't too far from them now. We drove within 110 yards from them. Right up here, what hole was that, 12? Yeah, let's see, 10, 11, this should be the dog leg right 12, yeah. There's a 12th green. I done seen the coon on the top right of the tree looking down here at us. May have to come out here in the field and harvest it. But Hope we don't fall in the river. Yeah, it might. I'll go get it. <laughs> yeah. I will. <laughs> Look at all that bamboo. Go down here to the dogs. Had to go through a big bamboo patch. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Molly. We got this GNR Macho Coon Squaller out, trying to get it to look down here one more time. Right there it was. You see, see, it? see him right there? Yeah, I see, I see his eyes right there. Got him? Keep your light on it. Right there he is. Todd's got his night trace technology. Right on the coon. But there's his eyeball. He move? No. It's really hard to... Well, I saw an eyeball right in there. Uh, yeah. I put the bright light on it and it looked away. Well, we're gonna harvest him on out. I've had to back up here in this field and squall again. Coons been running all over the tree. I've been uh, squalling this GNR Macho Coon Squaller and it's got it moving so bad on me. I shot three times, all I could ever get was one eye when I got out here and uh, Coon's out, got him harvested. I'm gonna try to get in here and I didn't hear it hit the river or nothing, so we should. Dog's in there in the bamboo patch, gonna get the Coon and bring it out. There's the Coon. You see I shot him. I hit him one time, I shot three times and hit it once. I could just see a little eye. I hit it right in the head. Good, good right humane there. harvest. Uh, let's get out here. Come out here, bamboo. That's a big old coon, ain't it? Told you it'd be a big one. <coughs> Man, we're playing tug of war. Yeah. May really likes this fairway. She's cleaning the blood off of her. Come here. Good girl. Yeah, Come here, girl. <laughs> Come here, little girl. You trying to clean the blood off of you? You like that fairway? It's been a good little old dog. 121 months old. You done a good job, Molly. Good job. Well, we have had an interesting night, to say the least. This is the first coon I've got to get out and hunt on a golf course, and uh, I guess it's the first for you too, isn't it? That's the first for me. First, probably first for a lot, a lot of people. We've came out here and took a good picture. It's going to be for the thumbnail of this video with the dogs and the coon, and uh, I guess that marker that tells what hole you're on, I don't know what they call them, but there it is. We just took the coon off of it, should have left it on there, but we got a real good picture. We have had a real good time out here with friends and uh, you can't beat it. I've, I've had a blast. But Been a good time. Sure yeah, it is. But we're gonna go ahead and end this hunt, hit the road. Y'all thanks for watching. Until next time, put them on the wood. <laughs>